guys uh, we are going exercise 5.4 that is optional exercise from arithmetic progression uh, in the textbook they mention it's not from exam point of view but some question they asking from the exercise so that we are uh, going okay shall we start children right <coughs> right the first question listen ma the first question which term of the ap then what i want to find n which term in the sense the keyword which term how many term number of term find n that everything mentioned n okay so which term of the ap is what they are telling first negative term negative term in the sense usually it will be greater than 0 or less than 0 less than 0 which term in the sense that is we don't know which term it can be 9th term 10th term 15th term 20 term so uh, the an i don't know what it is it can be any term that term is negative first negative there first negative not negative first negative then the negative term can be always less than 0 am i right am i right that is the keyword i'm using in the textbook they are given hint but don't expect hint they will give an exam they will not okay so negative term in the sense it will be less than zero what i'm telling less than zero because an is what negative term an is what here negative term so an is negative term an is negative term we can go uh, in this ap this is my a1 a2 a3 it's going on so here a value what i know a value a1 a1 is what 121 121 d value a2 minus a1 which is uh, 117 minus 121 which is equal to minus uh, 4 right now we are starting a plus n minus 1 into d less than 0 a value 121 plus n value need to find d value minus 4 less than 0 okay take the minus 4 multiple inside so what i am getting we will see here 121 minus 4 into n minus 4 n minus into minus plus 4 ones are 4 less than 0 121 plus 4 125 minus 4 n when you send opposite plus 4 n multiple 4 when you send opposite divide 4 less than n now we have to divide the 125 by 4 so 125 divide 4 you can multiple yeah what is that 3 4s are 12 reminder 0 bring 1 5 1 4s are 4 reminder what are the 1 point 0 when i give 2 4s are 8 reminder 2 0 4 then uh, sorry 5 4s are 20 20 all right then what i am getting uh, which is equal to 31.25 that means uh, here i will write better where here i will write 31.25 uh, less than n okay here have you noticed uh, minus value when i said opposite uh, what is that uh, yeah plus multiple when i when I, what is the when I said opposite divide these things is common when we have inequality when we have inequality also uh, multiple when you say opposite divide divide when you say opposite multiply plus when you say opposite minus minus when you say opposite these things is common in the inequality except in negative terms negative term when you have alone you should be careful okay when you multiple minus one on both side inequality will be reverse do you understand what i am telling that mean three greater than one i'm telling when i multiple minus one on both side then three became minus three one became minus one then now which is greater minus 1 is greater have you seen that the symbol is reversed that means opposite sign I'm, opposite inequality i'm getting less than in the sense greater than greater than in the sense less than i'm getting have you noticed when we have a negative negative number when you multiply or when you divide alone you should be careful with the inequality otherwise uh, the work is same right now what is my n value that is the question shall we go now what is my n value huh right so here what they are telling n value n see 
when we have this inequality symbol when you have inequality symbol the open side is always will come greater number what number will come greater number will come the small side always will come smaller number what my dear small number will come so now sorry now uh, greater side what i have n so n value is greater than 31.25 31.25 is the meaning so n value can be more than 31.25 that is the meaning do you understand so n value can be n equal to what 32 33 34 it will be going any number it's going on n value is what meaning more than what it meaning uh, 31.25 am i right this is the meaning okay but what they asked first negative term they asked so what is the first term then uh, so n equal to 32 is the first negative term that means a 32 if you find you will be getting negative for this ap if you are finding a 31 it will be positive if you are finding a 32 it will be negative surely it will be coming if you have a doubt you just check it will be coming a plus 30 d a value what 121 d value what minus 4 minus 4 into 30 huh? minus 120 what i am getting positive 1 have you noticed it positive 1 and here what i will be getting a plus 31 d so a value 121 plus 31 into minus 4 you multiply so what i am getting minus 1 4s are 4 3 4s are 124 what i am getting minus 3 so what i am getting negative here positive here negative have you seen it that is the asking where we are getting first negative term in the ap they asked we are getting in 32 term in 32 term we are getting negative that's what n value 32 that's what what is that n value th this is for checking i gave so therefore in 32nd term is what first negative term of given a b this is you have to done do you understand the question is it understand children it's very important okay completing the question is very important this is they asked this is they asked is it okay very important two mark very important two mark right we are going to next question next question we are going <coughs> Uh, here sum of third and seventh term so a3 plus what is that a7 of the ap is 6 what they are telling 6 and 6 then you just write what you will be writing yeah a3 plus a7 is 6 first condition this is my first condition and second condition what they are telling and reciprocal oh their reciprocal ah uh, they sorry their product sorry sir their product is 8 it mean what it mean ah a3 multiply a7 is 8 second condition what my dear second condition it's given find the sum of first 16 term of the ap that mean ah uh, Yes, 16 they are asking. So, what I need to find this? A value and a D value. If you simplify this, you will be getting. Here, A3 in the sense, A plus 2D and uh, A plus 6D equal to 8. Now, by using this, one of A or D, I am going to find. A3, A plus 2D plus A7, A plus 6D equal to 6. A plus A, 2 times A and 8d equal to 6 divided 2 on both sides so what i am getting a plus 4 times d equal to 6 so huh? yeah yeah i am dividing on both sides no so a you find so 3 minus 4 times d is a a take this substitute in the other condition that is in second condition what is my a value 3 minus 4d plus 2d here 
what about here 3 minus 4d plus 6d equal to 8 okay what i am getting 3 minus 2d here 3 plus 2d equal to 8 it's look like a minus b a plus b have you noticed so what you can do here ah uh, a square minus 2d the whole square equal to 8 8 you bring opposite 9 minus 8 equal to 4 times d square am i right then when I separate 1, multiple for when you send opposite, divide, which is equal to what? D square, square when you send opposite, root. Now, huh? wrong, plus or minus 1 by 2. How many time I am telling? You people should not do this mistake. I am telling many times, when we have a root, we should write plus or minus. If it is a distance, height, weight, length, then only you should not write in negative. Here it is not d value, d value can be come in positive, negative or zero also sometimes. You should be careful children. Okay, plus or minus uh, 1 by 2 is a d value. So, what I am getting? 2 case I am getting. What I am getting? 2 case. 1 for a equal to, is still I, uh, what is, I couldn't get a value. Right, I will go. Then, here I am going 1 implies. Then 1 implies what I am going a equal to 3 minus 4 into uh, d plus or minus plus or minus 1 by then I will go to 2 case here itself better. Can you start 2 case? Case number 1. What is that? d equal to plus 1 by 2. Case number 2, I am going d equal to minus 1 by 2. It is important. Now 1 implies. So, what is my a value? Ah, 3 minus 4 into 1 by 2. Here a equal to 3 minus ah, minus 4 into 1 by 8. So, we can cancel here 1 time how many? 2. So, here also 1 time how many? 2. So, what I am getting? Yeah, 3 minus 2 into 1, 2, which is equal to 1 is a a. And what about here? 3 minus and minus plus 2, which is equal to 5 here a. Okay. So, I am getting a value 2, a d value 1, a d value also 2. What they asked is, sum of first is 16 term, then S16 here, S16 there. Um, what I am going to do, Sn equal to n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. I am writing uh, S16 equal to 16 by 2 into 2 into a value 1 plus n minus 1, n value what 16, 16 minus 1, 15, d value plus 1 by 2, that is uh, into 1 by 2. Is it okay? So, here what I am getting, 8. So, 8 into 2 into 1, 2, 15 by 2 I am getting, what it is? 15 by 2, when I take cross multiple water raja, 4, 4 plus 15, 19 by 2, it is 1 time, 4 time, 4 into 19, 76 is my sum of first 16 term of the AP, one answer, one more, uh, yes 16 equal to 16 by 2, 2 into A value, A value what are the 5 plus N value 15, that means 16 minus 1, okay, and D value minus 1 divided 2. What it is? 2, so close bracket. Here 16 by 2, we can write 8, 2 5s are 10, plus and minus minus 15 divided 2, take cross multiple. What I am getting? Ah, 20 minus 15, 5 divided 2. When I cancel 4 into 5, which is equal to 20. So, what is this? Sum of 16 term of the AP. Two answer you should represent. Check book bag answer. Both, both it is given, no? That is what. You should not do mistake. Okay? Both the answer you should give children. Very important sometime. You, they will be asking in 5 mark in such a way only. Do not expect to only one answer will come. Two answers sometime will come. You should careful with your uh, steps. Even book bag, they are given two answers, am right? Then you should be careful. If you are giving only one answer, then you will be giving only 76. You are not giving that, they will remove even one half mark from five mark. One case itself, you, what is that you didn't do, no? One A, uh, what is that? A value you left. See? A value left. S16 S you left. Then, uh, nearest, uh, what is that? 30 percentage of mark, they will remove. Five mark in the same, one half mark, they will remove. Surely, they will do. Or else two mark also they will take. Based on the answer key they will do. Understand? You should be careful here. Then I am going third one. Is it time? This alone I will do. Huh? Third one. This is two mark question. 
what is that two more question this is a very important lesson okay a ladder as a runs 25 cm apart 25 cm apart uh, the runs decrease uniformly in length from 45 cm at the bottom top 25 cm what they are telling uh, there is a ladder here each rung as a length i mean sorry each length uh, sorry uh, different bits between each rung we have 25 cm means here we have a 25 here we have a 25 here we have a 20 like that wherever you have a rungs uh, the distance what they said 25 25 centimeter they given gap each rung they are given like that the gap understand is it okay that is they have mentioned very clearly here here from here to here it will be 25 they mentioned have you noticed have you noticed right <coughs> then total length two and a half meter in the sense how many centimeter two 250 centimeter 250 centimeter each rung we have a gap to 25 centimeter now then how, how much rung you would have here divided 25 am i right huh? then how many 10 10 10 but it is not what number of runs don't consider it is number of runs i will uh, prove it uh, i have here what is that uh, uh, five i have here what actually five finger let me draw my hand like this if you have one two three four one more five i have a five finger in the sense how many gap i have here how many gap i have here how many gap i have here but i have how many finger ah so here <coughs> Here we are counting gap. How many gap we have? 10 gap we have. But how many rungs will be there? 11, 11 rungs will be there. One, one will be extra. See, if you are taking your hand, see each rung between only you are, you are getting gap. Am I right? Am I right? Then how many gap we have? See here gap number 1, gap number 2, gap number 3, gap number 4. When we have a 4 gap, but how many finger we have? 5. Like that. In e, see, uh, e, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, gaps when we count uh, one gap in the sense in between we have a two runs, am right? Like that, here we have a getting 10, 10 times, 10, uh, 10 runs is there, 10 times only we are getting two and a half now. Then one more runs should be there, am right? Then number of runs if you need, what I want to do after dividing this, we need to add a one. Then how many number of runs you will be getting? 11 runs you will be getting. This is the n value here. This is the what? Number of rungs equal to what? 11 rungs. This is like little uh, practical work you want to think or uh, just like that you, you never get a n value. Okay, here you should be careful when we find and uh, bottom, bottom they said, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, 45 centimeter. That means this is can be A and top they said what? 25. Then this is can be L, R, A, A, N. Understand? Understand? Right. Now, uh, yeah, here, okay, in the diagram they explained. What is the length of the hood required for the runs? Total uh, length of the hood they are asking. Uh, yes, and we have to find. Means sum of each, uh, sum of A1, sum of A2, sum of A3 and sum of this also. Like that, uh, all those things we have to add. Do you understand? Right. What is my A1? A1 is what? 45 centimeter. And what is, that is A1 only A. What is my AN? AN only what I know? L. L equal to what, my dear? 25 centimeter understand right uh, a value we are, and n value n value what i know uh, 250 divided 25 plus 1 how we are getting this two and a half meter we are converting into 250 so which is equal to what i am getting 11 so i have a an value a value n value then surely we can find a sn am right very easily then what is my sn sn equal to n by 2 a plus l n value 11 by 2, a value 45 plus l value 25, what I am getting? Yeah, 11 by 2, when I add each, yeah, 70, half of the 70, 35, huh? 385 centimeter, this much length I need to make a ladder, okay, to make a ladder I need, only for runs they asking. They, they didn't add uh, the length of uh, side, uh, what is that, uh, hood, okay. Only the, uh, what is that, uh, runs uh, length alone they added. That's what they mentioned here. Length of hood required for the runs. Understand? Only the steps alone they are asking to count how much length is required. The side uh, 
two hood they didn't count. Do you understand, children? So totally, how much we need? Three eighty-five centimeter length of hood we required for the total runs. Is it understand? Is it understand? Little there is a, some um, idea. Then only you can go here. Just like that, you never uh, solve this. Usually, you will be thinking ten is again. When we divide directly, you will be getting like that. But one more we need to add here. That is very important. Is it understand? Ah, uh, shall we go? One more is there or not? That's it. Ah, uh. that's it. This, this you copy enough. Ah, uh. first question I will show. Thank you.